My name is Julianne Penzaboon and I'm the director of the Arts Academy here at the West Hampton Beach Performing Arts Center. And I'm joined today by Colette Latiri, who is a human resources consultant committed to empowering employees in the workplace. And she is also a PAC supporter and a future PAC student in the program that we're talking about today, Sip and Speak. It's no secret that the number one fear for adults in America is public speaking. So for five weeks, starting October 11th, we're going to meet weekly to work on what it is that makes public speaking easy and what we can do to reduce our fears around it. Also, there will be sipping. And so today, we are sipping. We have rosé. It's September. It's, we don't have to put away the rosé just yet. And Colette and I are going to challenge ourselves with one of the tenets of public speaking. We're going to try very hard not to use the words um or like. And if either of us uses the words um or like, we will have to take a sip of the rosé. So, hi Colette. Hey Julian, <laughs> checking the time. <laughs> so, so Colette, we just said that public speaking is the number one fear in America for adults above shark attacks, above heights, above claustrophobia. Why do you think that is? What is so scary about public speaking? I guess for me, it's that I was never taught how to do it. So I've muscled my way through it, or I've had a quick sip of wine before heading out onto stage, full disclosure. And I guess, oh, I just said I guess twice. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Said. <laughs> I thought that was one of the words. Delicious. So I think that's just really it. There's no confidence if you go out almost bare naked and have no, no skeleton or anything to even go back towards to say at least I did these two or three things correctly. Right. Just kind of go out cold turkey. Right. And why do you think public speaking is important? You're, you're an employee consultant. Why do all employees have to know how to public speak? Well, you're conveying your message. You're possibly selling your product, you're closing the deal, or you're meeting someone for the first time. And that is sort of that head and shoulders moment, as I call it, that first impression. And so for me, I'm constantly, when I'm meeting a new group or I'm going into a new office setting, the first thing I, I go through is sort of, okay, my appearance and what I'm going to say. And I just keep talking through, you know, until I get to that front door and sort of that doorknob moment of entering. And then it's, it's showtime. Right. And truly, speaking in public is the first way people see you and take you in and understand you. So it's hugely important. So for us, you and I have worked on this program for a while, and we're trying to think of how can we take the fear out of public speaking for people? How can we take those hang-ups out? Well, the first way is to <laughs> have some liquid courage, obviously, but also... No judgment. <laughs> right, right. But also, let's have a program that meets at night. You have children who are in the Arts Academy programs. They're learning how to speak on stage and be confident and self-expression. But there really is a gap for adults to have that same opportunity. And we know that people are busy, and so we thought, why not create an evening program where you can come just for an hour and a half, 7.30 to 9, be with like-minded individuals, we'll have a cocktail, and then I'm going to work with you on how can you present yourself in a way that's easy, no fear, but also effective. So I think, uh, I will, gosh, and I'm the teacher. Not good. <laughs> that is good. I told you. All right. So, what are you most looking forward to about the class? Oh, the class. Um, I guess. Oh. Well, no longer saying um. <laughs> That's a huge one. <laughs> a couple of things. For me, I'm a very handsy person when I speak, and I know that's something I would like to curb, and I, I believe I do a lot of that to ease my own anxiety while yes. speaking, or how to use my hands more appropriately to convey a message. Um, my tone, I know when we've done voiceovers for me with work, you were great in showing me, or teaching me rather, when to enunciate, or have a certain 
affect with my tone. Um, I think that's huge, especially for people who, like myself, had taken some time out of the workforce mm -hmm. and are now diving back in, and it's terribly scary. Absolutely. Or, you know, people don't even realize they've been home with their children so long that maybe their voice has gone up a little bit Absolutely. in the way that they're speaking. So we talk about vocal variety. Okay. You know, when we're talking about different ideas that we change where our voice is living in our bodies. And I love what you said about the hands. I, I'm Italian. I use my <laughs> hands all the time. Um, even more important than the hand movement is what I call dancey feet. So have you ever okay. seen somebody speaking publicly? Guilty. Yes. Guilty. And they, they're they like a side step. Correct. So how do you plant yourself and how do you hold yourself and really take presence and take space? Uh, before you start speaking. Okay. I had an um in there. So. Okay. Looks like I'll be talking soon. Mm -hmm. So, Colette, what, do you, what is your message to people who are watching this and think, I don't know if I can get up there in front of people. I don't know if I can go in front of strangers and speak or do this. What would you say to those people? Uh, um, I get driven. Okay. We'll be drinking, so that's the first thing. So it's fun. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be chugging it. I need a straw. <laughs> and an Uber. Um, oh my god. <laughs> so first and foremost. Ridiculous. <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> So, so for people out there who are a little nervous or intimidated oh, right. by the thought of taking a class, what would you say to them? Perfect example, I've never been taught how to speak in public, so I am super excited to do this. I think having you as a teacher, knowing what our children experience with you and Marissa and the teams here, it will be super casual. But I think there will definitely be moments of learning. Mm -hmm. And although having a great time and networking and just seeing faces outside of being in the hustle and bustle of rushing our children into theater with their shoes or their costumes, etc., instead actually getting to say, so tell me, who are you? Except, right. you know, stuff like that. Absolutely. So we're really excited. We're going to be working with speeches, a lot of comedic, lighthearted stuff that will make us all laugh. And yes, we're going to learn a whole lot about vocal variety, about taking space, about dealing with anxiety and the things that make us nervous about public speaking. But all around, we're going to have a great time. So please join us, whbpac.org, to sign up. Or you can give me a call to chat more about the class, 631-288-2350, extension 114. Colette, Julianne, see you in class. See you then.